You're controlling your disc with your right hand. You're controlling your elevation with your left hand. And now, chew some bubble gum and get on the radio while you're at it. Holy hell, <laughs> that sounds right, like a lot. Uh, Junkin um, and one of his mentors came up with the tooling in order to build a monocoque uh, airframe for the composite FX and this is for the XE series helicopter and what you're looking at here um, is half of one of the molds that the, uh, uh, that the airframe comes out of and then just beyond it you see another airframe in a closed tool um, with several parts laminated together. Now there are 37 components that go into the airframe and those 37 components are represented in here. Our next station that we'll show you is where we put the fuel, uh, the fuel tank on as well as a, a, a mass reduction. Um, and there's no VIN on the equipment that you're looking at. Every machine is made alike at this station. Two parts are made in those big molds. 35 parts are made up here and those are uh, compression areas or sensor mounts uh, or tail guard mounts or whole tail booms, um, seat molds, among other things. Uh, do me a favor, this is an untrimmed tail boom, but if you take your person over here, put your hands about right here-ish and pick it up and pick it up briefly and just set it back down. That's about ten and a half pounds. It's, it's light, huh? It's so light. I, I just thought it was like a <laughs> You almost threw it in the air. Right. Yeah, this is, this is pretty light. <sighs> so that is an untrimmed, you'll see in one of the next stations, we have the trimmed version as they're set up and matched with airframes. Okay. Uh, so up here, all of the little components are made. For instance, a seat, something like this, yeah. comes off of a seat tool. <laughs> Um, and any of the other 35 plus parts that go into the airframe okay. uh, are made in this area. And what are they made out of? It's a, it's a composite material. It's a vinyl ester matrix with e-glass. Hmm. And what does that mean to somebody like me who's done E-glass is nothing? engineered glass. The vinyl ester matrix is a modified epoxy type of resin. Oh, okay, so it's it can a, be poured into the uh, mold, Well, basically. it's hand laid in. Oh, you brush okay. it in and then roll it out to make sure it's nice and tight. All the air bubbles are out. Yeah. Everything that's built here is done by hand. That's a nice loving touch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so downstairs we'll show you what some of the materials look like. Okay. And then we'll move on to one of the frame stations. Awesome. When most people think uh, fiberglass, they think of matte material like this. However, that's mostly just filler material for what we use. We use different kinds of engineered we woven materials oh, wow. that are of different, um, uh, different designs. Um, you can see um, some are tighter, some are smaller, some have thicker strands. Um, some are sewn, some are woven. Wow. And we've got about six different kinds of material that we use. And this is meshed in into the... In the, the so in the different parts. Okay. So this is only used in the upper gear case because this is a very strong, rigid material. This is only cool. used in the tail boom because it's um, very rigid but thin and strong material. Okay. Uh, this is something a little bit more general that we use in lots of different locations. So, like for, because this is experimental, right? Right. So, for the typical builder, is is this something where if they order the kit or the parts, they have to build it here, or can they build it on their own? So uh, we we can sell them all the parts that they would need, right, in order to build a kit and build the helicopter in their garage. Wow, okay. And they still qualify for 62% of the bill, which by law they need right. 51%. In the, in the United States, In right. the United States. Okay. Interesting. Or we offer a factory assist where people come here, use our tools mm -hmm. and our facility, and we'll show them how to build the machine maybe a little quicker or a little easier. Like a quick build. Right, okay. right. And we offer that um, for full builds. If the machine is shipped overseas, we can, we'll build full builds and, and put them in containers and send them off. 
or you can come here and build your machine with our equipment uh, for those factory build or factory assist uh, options. Okay. Sounds and what good. tends to be the most popular option that people like to choose? Do they come here and build or do you <coughs> think the kit is more popular? Over 50% of our production goes overseas. Oh, and wow. so we end up doing all of the factory building for the machines because they don't need, since the FAA won't be governing those machines, we can build them and, uh, and ship them as uh, ready to fly. Cool. Okay. <laughs> this is the airframe as you saw it come out of the other mold. Okay, but at this station, we're adding several other components. We're adding a reduction mount, uh, which ends up going right here. Uh, we put a mast rece a reception in, uh, in the top. This is the first piece of metal that actually goes in the machine. And then eventually, we're going to add the fuel tank that goes here, and that fuel tank holds the tail boom. So all of this will be tooled at this station. Okay. Here's the model. Oh, neat. So by tool, do you mean like? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to rivet all it. All those We're going to fixture and rivet and clean everything up the way that it needs to be. That's neat. <coughs> and here. So the fuel tank would be in there. Correct. There's a 12 gallon fuel tank in there. So this is an example of a fuel tank. And this, this fuel tank will be assembled to the airframe and it's a structural component. Uh, it'll be epoxy bonded and riveted to the airframe and on this, at this location, the tail boom will hang uh, as well. The piece that we saw Mike pick up and he almost right. threw yeah, it across the room. Right, and he almost threw room. it across the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, right. so right. light. I think we have, other, we have more of them in this, in, in this room as well. So now you can start to understand that with this, with this attached, with this attached and, that, and, the, uh, uh, and the mast put in, uh, the helicopter is approaching being complete for a kit and to be shipped to your garage for you to do your kit assembly. Oh, also in here, funny. we build windshields and doors. Wow. Um, so, uh, the windshields, so we have two different ovens. Uh, that, believe it or not, is a big giant toaster oven. And it, it, gets, it gets dropped on top of this tool. We put a piece of uh, acrylic uh, in this, drop the toaster on top of it, heat it up to uh, about, I don't know, it's 220, 240 degrees. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pull vacuum on it and suck it down and cool it. What? And it turns, into, it turns into one of our windshields. Or in this toaster, we'll put the, plat the acrylic in it and they turn into droopy pieces. We put them in these tools and we inflate them to make doors like this. Right, so actually... In that thing. The, so right. we can actually fit doors in the... Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. For some reason, the, the demos that I've seen so far and online, it was, it's just open. Yeah. They didn't no, no, have no. doors. So we, so we, also, we, make, we make doors for them as an okay. option. Do builders usually get the door or they get it without the door? Mostly without doors. Without doors, yeah. okay. Yeah, that seems more fun to me. Right. So, well, some some people like to cold weather fly, in which oh, case, in which case, case, the doors make a nice difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so we're also fabricating those components in here, and this is where we we'll polish the windshields, among other things. Now, at the same rate where you picked up the tail boom, um, you're going to grab the heavy side of this fuselage. All right. So you're going to grab it about right here. I'm going to get the light side, and you're going to pick it up on three. Ready? Mm -hmm. One. Two, three. All right. Good. So, all in, this is about sixty-five pounds. Um, you had the heavy side. Tail boom and all. Yeah, tail tail boom and all. Um, so uh, seventy-five. Right. About seventy-five. That's that's no, no, it's, no, no, it's about sixty-five pounds. With the tail boom. With, with the tail boom. Oh wow. Right. Right. And that has been G load tested, six G's positive and negative by a military uh, contractor with no failure. 65 pounds? 65 yeah. pounds. Plus and minus Ooh. 6G. That's insane. Right. And that is one of the uh, great things about e-glass and vinyl ester resin. They're really strong and really light. Anyone who buys a machine will do a build sheet based on their order form. And that build sheet goes over all of the options and how they want the machines prepared for them. And this is for both kit builds and factory builds. 
because we need to keep track of what kind of racing stripes do you want? What kind of options do you want? Do you want white walls? Do you want a stereo and all the other things? Oh, you can so, no, you can't put a stereo. Oh, man. So, <laughs> you, you can wear Too headphones. Too loud, right? <laughs> so, um, but that's how we keep track of them. And from, from these build sheets, we have to put all the parts together. And we'll show you what the parts room looks like. And the rain is really coming down. So, in the parts room, we have things like turbine engines on the shelf. Uh, we have electrical components, clutch components, other engine components, and then pretty neat. So that's yeah. what the the seats. That's what the seats are going to look like. And, oh, nice. uh, and then there's any number of other components in here. Um, uh, for instance, a put your hands on this. If you drop it, it's a couple thousand bucks. <laughs> that is problem. the that is the main rotor they sprocket number four. Around. The main Whoa. rotor, which makes the that holds the main blades and t and gets the torque from the engine and, and final drive. And how much does this go for? Wow, uh, you're holding about uh, thirty five hundred dollars. Thirty <laughs> five. Oh, well, which take for, it from for, me. <laughs> which for which for conventional aircraft would right, probably cost it's, twenty it's, or thirty thousand dollars, but since these are experimental, yeah, they're affordable. And that's a door. Yeah, the these are these door. are some doors. Um, these are oh, cool. Those actually um, look neat. a splitter box or a tail rotor gear box. So this sticks out of the um, uh, the tail rotor. This takes a metallic drive shaft in the tail um, boom. Mm -hmm. And out comes, actually it's this side, out comes the drive shaft and the tail rotor um, attached to it. Okay. So, and this is a splitter box, and we'll show you these later on in, a, in an assembled aircraft. Awesome. Oh, wow. It smells like the biggest nail salon ever. Woo! Check it out. All right, so we've got some small parts wow. in here, but this machine just got its paint the other day. It's not rubbed out yet. Rubbed um, out? What does that mean? Um... Paint, when you lay it down by hand, it'll get some orange peel. And so we're gonna hit it with some 1,000 and then 1,500 sandpaper and buff it. Mm. And that way it gets a really nice flat and mm. shiny look. Mm, cool. So this is just straight out of the booth. I love the So what orange. would you say at this stage, how far complete is the aircraft? Because you've put together literally the, the fuselage of the body. And, and with the paint, and, yeah, this is in this is in the less than thirty eight percent complete. Oh wow! Whoa. So the sixty two percent, if you if you complete it on your own, we can still do all of this, uh -huh. and it and your sixty two percent hasn't started yet. Mm. Wow! Wow! So it's in the it's in the thirty percent ish, something along those lines. And we have things like dashboards cool. or wings uh, or any number of other accoutrements that hold these parts on. Um, these are actually, these are doors for autonomous machines. Um, they're not clear because there's nobody flying these. And we'll show you some of those in the next building. What? Okay. All right. So, and this is one of the airframes that you just saw in the other building. Um, this one's getting uh, body worked such that when we paint it, it looks right um, underneath. So you can't just simply spray paint on top of e-glass without doing some preparation right. and this is what the preparation looks like okay. and is it just you two guys doing all of this yep, or you guys have a team us. no 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 we have a team yeah, I was <laughs> not knowing. we have a team like, what? <laughs> we've, we've got 11 guys and wow. between all of us we're doing about a machine a week that's awesome oh my god